Hey, 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 what's going on with my beautiful people today? Hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. All right, so guys, I don't think I said it yesterday. Um, I did write a post um, about me having a small surgical procedure um and so if all of you didn't see and you've seen the video yesterday like wow what's wrong i'm okay it's just i'm healing right i had to go out today so um that's why you see me with actual clothes on or whatever but um i am healing um healing up well um at this time that i'm healing up as um i i'm actually healing is uh also getting downloads and also getting things that i need to purge and you know healing not just my body but why that i while that i have this time to heal why not heal mind body soul and spirit right so that's what i've been doing so that's why you know um I took those days off and I probably would take more days off but in the interim when I need to get on here for you I will feel <laughs> I will feel your energy <laughs> I need to get on here <laughs> so um, thank you for your patience thank you for the love and support for those of you had that did see that did see um, the message and you replied thank you i really appreciate it every word of encouragement um every um uh, positive thought every emoji every thumbs up every thumbs down every subscription every support i thank you all right my ride and dies my new subscribers my energy exchange 10 20 10 20 10 20 30 40 100 right back at you right on the flip side looking good smelling good like i should can't stop won't stop and ain't gonna stop nothing up in here period point period point period point blank right so we are honoring the size of the collective. Bam! There it is, collective. All right, so I drew a couple of cards. Um, I just drew some cards. Um, and I'm going to let spirit do what spirit does. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first card I drew is the word, right? I know, I already know that everybody that follows me does not read the Bible, associates, associates themselves with the Bible, and that's okay. But I can read this message and tell you what you need to know, okay? what is the energy okay so that's what i'm gonna do and for those of you that do read that word and believe in that word then i'm gonna give you the scripture okay then i have um some cards they medicate meditation cards but we're gonna see what we get here it look like we got acceptance okay something needs to be accepted right all right okay so the first one is psalms 34 17 and it says the righteous the chosen right not saying that the chosen is righteous because the chosen is not the chosen um make mistakes the chosen um cuss the chosen um sins the chosen do all kind of things but the difference between the chosen 
and the ones that's not chosen is that the chosen went through these things and turned away turned away from their wicked ways and they moved forward and they they altered their life to align with the most high okay not perfection because there is no one that's per that that God made that was perfect human that was perfect so the righteous cry and the Lord the most high God heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles now yesterday I told you that God has you in a place that's unfamiliar that you just naked for all to see you don't have your clothes where you could just cover parts of you or you can put on your clothes which is familiar so you can feel warm and you can feel comfortable god placed you in this way because you're going to need to learn how when you're placed in a a, a vulnerable position where you're naked be, you're naked before all you're going to have to learn how to still keep your mind focused clear be able to uh uh to able to continue to operate in your gifts your talents and your abilities it's not that you're naked that is the problem is that you are you feel un you feel uncomfortable or you can't function or you don't know how to function without your clothes without your comfort zone without being in your body you're familiar with being being in your body clothed warm and comfortable but it is not that you're naked because you being naked that don't phase you being naked is being vulnerable being who you are that was yesterday's message today message it says that and what this means that even though i have you in this unfamiliar area even though i make i'm making you feel vulnerable even though this place that you're in is unfamiliar and you don't you don't know where you fit in you don't know what to do you don't know but you know who you are. That is not a problem. You know who you are. You're standing in who you are. Yes, I'm naked. But I'm uncomfortable and I don't know why I am here. Or why my clothes are not here. Who took off my clothes? Who hid my clothes? Who took who took? this from me and why but god just answered it was me i need you to find your way through this because what's to come you're going to have to find your way through that i need to train you i need you to understand that what's to come you need to be familiar with what's to come. If this, when this come, you're gonna have to be vulnerable. The wick, the the um, the opponent eyes are gonna be all over you. You're gonna still have to need to function. You're gonna still need to be standing in your truth. You're still gonna have to have your head up high. But this says the righteous, the chosen, cry in the Lord. The most high God heareth, delivereth, heareth and delivereth and, and them out of all their troubles. So what this says that even though right now you don't feel comfortable, you feel disconnected, you, you're trying to figure this thing out, you're trying to see you say see yourself through and not look at the
fact that you're naked. But look at the fact that I got the, that the most high God is testing me. I got to pull myself together. I got to get my mind, my body, my soul aligned with the most high. And I need to be led and guided to the finish line. And not focus on what people, places, and things are saying about my nakedness. That's a distraction. Not focusing on my nakedness, but focusing on the test at hand. A lot of people will miss this. They will miss and get distracted. Get distracted and look at their nakedness. But remember, the nakedness symbolizes what? Standing in your truth. Standing up for who you are. Naked or not. It still stands. You still are who you are. You still are chosen. You still are sitting on your throne. You still are high. And favored by the most high God. Not because you say so. It's because you have been tried, tested, and proven. That's why. You have did things and made decisions and took the long and the hard road. The road less traveled. You did. See... Even the chosen forget some of the hardships and some, some of the choices that they made to get them to the point that they are now. You forget. You forget the small things. You say, oh, I'm just going to go this way. I'm going to just trust God. I'm just going to just, just forget it. I'm just going to trust God. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust him. What is this? Hold on. Okay. So what what this is what basically this is is that How could I say it? Okay, it is like this. Once you understand that the, the situation that you're in, situation meaning mind, it could be in your mind, your thoughts, it could be physically, you could, could be you could be physically sick, you could be going through uh, some type of grief about um, finding out you have an illness, it could be um, money woes, it could be anything, right? But whatever it is that you find yourself into and you feel vulnerable you feel um disconnected you don't feel like yourself you don't feel um like you are chosen right um just know that this is a test this is the this is uh continually a test but it's a test that god himself um is placing you in and whatever it is that you are placed in, God is going to going to wipe your tears. God is going to hear every every prayer, and God is going to deliver you out of whatever that you find yourself in it at this present time, right? Um, and God is wanting you to accept to accept this, to accept whatever you in. Whatever situation that you're in, that whatever you wait that you feel, that you're vulnerable, that you, um, whatever it, it is, okay? Because it could be anything. Because just the chosen, the 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 collective, the psychics, the the the, the who the the, uh, the spiritualists, the gurus, whatever you are. God is testing. God is having to put us through another ring, another ring of tests, another 
um, a situation, another hardship, another, another struggle, another thing. Because God knows and God is the only one who knows exactly what's to come. So God knows what each and every one of us need to be tested on to make us stronger. This is a piggyback message from yesterday. I feel it all over. I feel God over this message because God is warning us that stop waddling. Stop waddling. And look at stand up. Dust your stuff off. Put your war clothes on and get to work. You don't have time to waddle. You don't have time to procrastinate. You don't have time to go, woe is me. Because every minute, every hour, every day is detrimental, is vital. It's important. We don't have the time that we think that we have. We have to get to work. We have to do what it is that we need to do. God knows what's best for each and every one of us to get us through this process that we're getting ready to have to go through. Some of us are not paying attention. Some of us are just waddling and looking around. Some of us are hiding because you don't want people to know what you believe. You don't want people to know that you believe in conspiracy theories or you don't you believe in what God is trying to tell you, what the Bible is saying. So you don't want nobody to know that you are stocking, that you're stocking up. And that you're putting away. And that you're getting ready for battle. You don't want nobody to know that. Some of you are paying. That, well, it's nothing wrong with that. But you're paying, you're, you're paying too much attention. Or trying to hide. Instead of you just simply putting the stuff away. Placing your focus and your attention on what the most high God is trying to do teach you at a moment like this you're focusing all on your attention and everything else on hiding and trying to keep yourself away from others and from what you're trying to hide and keep others from knowing exactly what it is that you're doing hey ain't nothing wrong with that but why God bring this up is because God is trying to get your attention, but your, your attention is focused elsewhere. But you're going to have to learn how to multitask. You're going to have to learn how to do two to three different things at one time. It's just that deep. It's just that important. You have to always keep God at a fork and a, 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 in your mind. Let him guide. Then, if you're the person who is very private, and you don't want nobody to know what you're doing, you don't want nobody in your business, you're going to have to write these lists down, and you're going to have to get your plan and write it down. Right? Put it in a safe. Go in and out of your safe. But you can't focus everything on that. You have things. We have things that we have to do. And if people, places, and things ringing on your phone, texting you, trying to get, get you to think about all these other things that's not important, you're going to have to not answer those calls. You're not going to have to, you're not going to be able to allow other people in because you're going, you have to focus on two, three, four different things that's more important than what some people is trying to come in and convey. You're going to have to accept this fate because God is going to see you through each and everything.
but you have to keep him, her, the focal point of everything that you do. Today will be a good day. Close your eyes and repeat this before you begin eat before you begin each day. There will be difficulties and bumps in the road throughout the day. Accept this and know that you will make it li make it living one day at a time. I don't even have to say anything after that. It will be bumps in the road. It will be difficulties it will be hardships it will be struggles but each time that you find yourself in a difficulty a struggle a bump in the road the most high god will step in and wipe your tear the most high god will come in and heareth your prayer the most high god will come in and deliver you from your trouble your struggle Each and every time, do you remember? Do you remember? And I'm going to leave it at that. Hit the comments, hit the emojis, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us sister know how. <laughs> Let us sister, thumbs up, thumbs down. It helps the sister out. Um, share, 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 subscribe. The description box have all the information there. Um, if you want to sew into the channel, uh, cash up, uh, PayPal, um, Amazon, if you want to uh, do a deck, um, the social media is in the description box, hit the notica notification bell if you want to know what's up with the channel, and that's it. I'm sending you love, I'm sending you healing your way, Trinity is